Hey guys, what well, Demolish134 here, back with another review. We've got Transformers Power Core Combiners Crankcase with the Destrons. There's Crankcase, there's the Destrons. Um, they are all repaints of figures from Wave 1. Um, so we have, um, it's just like Stakeout. The drones are kind of a mishmash of the um, aerial bots and the Combaticon. So yeah, we got a repaint of the aerial bots. Um, the helicopter and the um, plane, and we get the repaints of the Combaticons. Um, and this is obviously a repaint of Huffer. Uh, I'm going to set these, di these guys off to the side a little bit. Let's just focus on Crankcase. Because in my opinion, Crankcase is a phenomenal looking figure. Um, so yeah, first thing you will notice, he bears a hell of a lot of resemblance to Generation 1 Motormaster. Um, you know, because he has the um, black um, truck. I mean, he just looks really nice, and um, he just looks really cool. Um, the overall look of this guy does really, really um, suit this um, this uh, mold. Um, so yeah, I mean, power core combiners work with Autobot or Decepticon. And um, that's the beauty about them. Um, I mean, you can repaint them into almost any faction, um, and they will always look good. Um, so yeah, and this guy is no exception. He does look amazing. Um, I really am liking the look of this guy. I love this green. This green and kind of like a really light blue and the silver the overall colors that they chose for this guy it looks really really nice even the gray looks cool i don't mind that gray um because it actually works with the color scheme um i am just really really liking the way this guy looks if it, it would be even more awesome if they released this guy in the um two packs and gave him a green minicon a black kind of a greenish minicon kind of like that color like green caliber or something um see so yeah, i just say comparison here he is next to his original um, figure as Huffer. Um, so you know they both look really good. Um, so yeah, I really do like both of these color schemes, um, and it's so hard to pick. Over, I think th they're both they're both really good. Um, so yeah, there is the vehicle mode. Here's an overall very nice looking vehicle mode. Um, I always did like this vehicle mode anyway. Um, so yeah, onto the transformation. It's exactly the same as Huffer's. Um, very simple, but very satisfying, as a lot of people have already said. I'm going to grab these little pieces here. I'm going to split these little pieces here. And now, this is one of the problems I've got with the actual figure. The quality control is it's kind of off in some places. Sometimes the joints are really tight, um, just like that one. Um, anyway, once, you're gonna, once you've done that, we're going to split these legs. Um, I'm just going to rotate the arms down, rotate them down, and flip up his head. Um, and you know, there is current case in robot mode. Um, and you know, really nice looking robot mode. That red visor changes so much. Um, I mean, it's just, just the colour of the visor can determine the faction, which I really do like. Um, so yeah, I mean, he's a lot different from his um, Dark of the Moon design. Um, don't know if you've seen that, you probably have. Um, so he's a lot different. Um, but yeah, I really do like the overall look of this robot mode. It really does look nice. Um, that detail on the face there looks really, really nice. It's, too, it's just a shame about the head remold, but whatever. Um, you know, he's got some nice paint apps. He's just loaded with paint apps for a power core figure. I mean, they really did a nice job on this guy. Um, so yeah. Um, but there is the robot mode. Uh, quick 360, and now to um to transform him into his um commander mode. It's really not that hard. I'm um, just going to push his head in like that. I'm going to open this little panel up, and we're going to flip out the head. Then just kind of push that on there, just like that. Then we're just going to rotate these up. And just kind of peg in. And what I found is that these guys, um, these little arms. They peg in way better than what they did on Huffer. Um, I have a copy of Huffer. They, uh, these arms were like really, really loose. I mean, if you just touched them, they'd pop out. But this uh, this one seems okay, actually. Um, it seems to be holding together really well. Um, so, yeah. Anyway, you want to rotate the um, pegs up. going to fold the pegs out. I'm just going to just kind of slide these over like that. Um, there he is, ready um, to be combined with the drones. But one problem I do have with this mode is that this piece... Um, it won't lock in properly. Um, you can see that it, yeah, when you push it, you can see it kind of moves. Um, it won't lock in. Um, whereas on this side, it's locked in. This one won't. Um, it doesn't really. It stays in, but it's just kind of. It makes him look a little bit uneven. I don't know. I don't. Know, it just does. Um, I can see it anyway. Um, 
So yeah, there he is in um, the commander mode. I'm just going to show off the drones just for a second. Um, so yeah, here we have the repaint of the um, one of the aerial bots. This colour scheme just looks amazing on this guy. Um, really looks nice. I love these nice um, little tattoo get things that go on with the red. Um, it looks really, really cool. Um, this one's one of my favourites. Um, so yeah, we have a repaint of the um, Combaticon, which was obviously intended to be Swindle. Um, overall, I love the colour schemes um, on all of them, really. I mean, this black and the red and the gold looks amazing. Um, I really do like the way these guys turned out. Um, so yeah, that's that one. Good look at the tank. Um, he's, a, he's very purple. Um, nice. Some, he's got some nice green. Um, this one's probably the most garish, I think. I mean, the colours just don't really fit, but overall, it looks really nice. And just finally, here he is. Here is the repaint of the aerial bot. Um, his cut is grey, but it actually looks kind of cool. And this blue breaks up really well. Um, so yeah. Now for the um, combination. Um, so yeah, I've noticed with all the drones and this and the um, new waves of the power core combiners, they have been doing a really good job on keeping um, these. I mean, fixing the um, problems with the pegs. Um, so that's a really good um, thing, you know. So yeah, once you've done. So yeah, let's just get these guys pegged together. And no, normally I would um, skip this, but my editing software is kind of playing up, so I can't edit it as I would like to. That's why I've got the um, blue background up, because the lighting kind of fails with my regular setup. Um, so the blue background helps it a little bit more. Um, see how that explains some stuff. This, guy in. this one I have most trouble getting it in, because it's just kind of, it's kind of fiddly this one. There we go. Um, so yeah, there we go. Uh, let's just get all straightened out. Let me just adjust my camera a little bit more. Um, so yeah, there he is in commander mode. Um, such a nice looking figure. Um, definitely bears a resemblance to Menasaur, um, but you know he doesn't have the um, stunticons. Um, he's got completely different drones. Well, not drones, different limbs. Sorry, no, some kinds aren't drones. Um, but overall, it does look really nice. Um, and it's a passable Menasaur. For display, anyway. It's passable. Um, just a quick look at the um, head sculpt again. This head sculpt um, looks really nice. Got the Decepticon symbol on there. I forgot to. I, I didn't actually man, um, notice that. Um, paint apps look really nice. The drones look really nice. Um, and it's overall a really nice uh, figure. Overall, I would highly recommend this guy. Um, if you, uh, again, um, just as like I said in my stakeout review, these guys are in Tesco's for a little bit cheaper than what they usually are, so pick him up. Um, he's definitely worth it. So yeah, that was my review. I hope you enjoyed it, and I shall see you guys later.